Published, 3.43 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 29th of March 2018, updated, 18.05 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 29th of March 2018 The Great Easter Getaway Starts has begun with 26 million motorists set to hit the roads over the four-day weekend, but forecasters have warned that Britain could face heavy snow on Monday. Monday Thursday is likely to see the highest number of vehicles on the road over Easter as commuters and families head home, with the AA warning it could be one of the busiest bank holiday weekends. In recent years, traffic analysts in Ricks have warned motorists that the worst times to travel this weekend will be between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. today, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. tomorrow, and 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. on Easter Monday. But drivers could face difficult conditions as they head off today, before a mixed bag of weather this weekend that will bring rain, winds, frost and snow in some areas, along with temperatures falling to 5 C, 23 F, and the worst of the snow is expected on Easter Monday, with the Met office issuing a severe weather warning for up to 1.5 inches, or centimeters, of the white stuff covering most of England down to the Midlands, Wales and southern Scotland, traffic tails back along the A282 near the Dartford crossing in Kent today as people make their way home for Easter. Pictured is the traffic anti-clockwise near Queen Elizabeth II bridge cars sit in traffic as people desperately try to get away for the Easter bank holiday weekend traffic already queuing on the A14 near Huntingdon, Cams, on Thursday morning as the Easter getaway starts another picture which shows the traffic already queuing on the A14 near Huntingdon, Cams, on Thursday morning giant waves near color coats on the northeast coast today as the weather is set to take a cold turn over the Easter weekend two men run away from huge waves near color coats in North Tyneside ahead of cold weather on the the way this weekend a man walks his dog as large waves hit the northeast coast near color coats before the weather takes a cold turn forecasters say there could be travel delays on roads with some vehicles stranded delayed or cancelled rail and air travel rural communities could become cut off power cuts and disruption to mobile phone coverage today we'll see a three-way split in conditions with showery rain pushing in from southwest england rain across the northeast of scotland falling as snow over the hills and a large amount of fine weather in between the met office has issued a snow warning for the scottish highlands between 9 p.m tonight and 12 p.m tomorrow warning of up to an inch of snow over higher routes that will cause longer journey times. The Met Office has issued a severe weather warning for up to 1.5 inches, or centimeters, of snow across the yellow area on Easter Monday rain will spread into tomorrow, with temperatures in the north between 5 C, 41 F, and 7 C, 45 F, and the south a little warmer at 80, 46 F or 9 C, 48 F, Saturday will turn drier, brighter and colder with a brisk northeasterly wind, paving the way for a widespread frost on Easter Sunday for much of the country and the potential of lows of 5 C in parts of Scotland. People in the south will wake on Easter Sunday to lows of 1 C, 34 F or 2 C, 36 F, with the mercury plunging to as low as 2 C, 28 F in the north overnight. As Sunday goes on, temperatures in the south will climb to 9 C, 48 F, for most of the UK the day will be cloudy, punctuated by some sunshine and showers, before more rain moves in from the south on Monday morning, bringing the potential of further snow to the northern hills. Andy Page, chief meteorologist at the Met Office, said, The Easter period will bring a variety of spring weather from sunshine and showers, to more prolonged cloudy and wet conditions, along with some snow in the north, chiefly over the hills, so, there will be opportunities to get outside and enjoy the weekend, and you can use the rainfall radar on the Met Office app to keep track of where the rain is. And when is best to get outdoors, as temperatures fall in the UK, the mercury will hit 20 C, 68 F, in the most popular destination Malaga, 22 C, 72 F, in Tenerife and 28 C, 82 F, in Marrakesh, Martin Bowles, from the Met Office said, the heavy rain coming from the south will meet the cold air coming from the north and there could be significant snowfall in the Midlands, Wales and the north of England. This is most likely to be on high ground, but Stoke-on-Trent, Derby and Nottingham could all be affected. More than 4 out of 5, 81%, UK motorists are planning a leisure trip by car over the weekend, according to an AA poll of more than 20,000 people. This equates to nearly 26 million drivers on the road. M25 between Gatwick Airport. Planned upgrades to some parts of the rail network will likely see an increase in road traffic through the weekend, with buses carrying rail passengers in parts of the northwest, southwest and east of England. Passengers traveling between London and Scotland on the west coast main line between Saturday and Monday will need replacement buses between Glasgow and either Carlisle or Preston, depending on the day. London Euston, the UK's fifth busiest station, will be closed on Sunday, with a reduced service on the previous and following day. 
Significant work in the Bristol area means no trains will run between Bristol Parkway, Bristol Temple Meads and Yatton, Bath Spa from Friday to Tuesday, April 3rd. There will also be disruption to services between London, Liverpool Street and Norwich, as well as routes serving London Paddington. Network Rail said it schedules engineering work for bank holidays because there are fewer passengers than normal on those days. The Association of British Travel Agents, ABTA, has estimated that 2.1 million British holidaymakers will jet out of the country for the Easter bank holiday weekend. Ports, train stations, roads and airports in the UK are also expected to be extremely busy. At the major airports, half a million people will fly out from Heathrow, 260,000 from Gatwick and 160,000 from Manchester. The Eurostar service from St Pancras will take 70,000 passengers under the channel and into mainland Europe this weekend, with many headed to the French capital Paris. Easter traffic hotspots are set to include the M25 between Gatwick and the M1, the M3 southwest of London, the A303 Stonehenge, the M55 between Preston and Blackpool, and the M53 between Liverpool and Chester. Monday Thursday, Britain's most delayed routes, average journey times and suggested alternative routes today, route distance, miles, travel times, Delay average speed, MPH, normal travel times, peak time alternative routes, M25 clockwise, J16, M40, to J23, A1, M21.711 hour, 32 minutes, 1 hour, 9 minutes, 14.223 minutes, 8.45, non-M way routes, M25 anti-clockwise, J23, A1, M, to J16, M40, 22.4126 minutes, 1 hour, 3 minutes, 15.126 minutes, 16.30, non-M way routes, M25 clockwise, J8, M, 23 to J16 M40 36.0936 minutes 1 hour 23 minutes 18.136 minutes 10:30 non Amway routes A720 West J0 A1 to J11 A8 12.8426 minutes 37 minutes 12.126 minutes 17:30 B701 M6 South J20 M56 to J8 M5 64.21 hour 43 minutes 1 hour 53 minutes 17.91 hour 43 minutes 7:45 A34 M1 North J6 A M25 to J23 A42 90.251 hour 45 minutes 1 hour 47 minutes 25.61 hour 45 minutes 15:30 A1 M M4 West, J18, A46, to J23, M48, 23.4837 minutes, 28 minutes, 21.637 minutes, 17.45 non Amway routes including A420, A34 North, A415 Marsham Interchange to M40 Wendelberry Interchange, 17.3825 minutes, 17 minutes, 24.525 minutes, 16.30 A40. Its customer service director Melanie Clark said, Safety is our top imperative and we know from experience that almost half of breakdowns are avoidable and these can easily be avoided with simple vehicle checks. Monday Thursday, March 29th before 4 p.m. or after 7 p.m. Good Friday, March 30th before 10 a.m. and after 4 p.m. Saturday, March 30th before 10 a.m. and after 4 p.m. Easter Sunday, April 1st.